Hi, I'm Cassandra Bankson. I'm a model and a beauty expert despite suffering from acne for over 10 years. Now, I'm taking my makeup tips and tricks on the road to help other women, like me, look and feel their absolute best as we capture their true beauty with their very own photo shoot. Meet Sophia. I started wearing makeup in the fifth grade to cover up the spots. I would love to be confident in my skin. I'm going to work with Sophia to help her beauty blossom from the inside out. This is Cassandra to the rescue. My name is Sophia and I'm a writer. Writing for me allows me to draw away from the reality of the pain that's happened in my life and the things people have said. In the sixth grade, acne became real to me. I am terrified to walk outside without makeup on. This has been on my face for 13, 14 years. These are the qualities, my physical qualities, and some things I can't change. I've had many people tell me, Sophia, you need to learn how to do your makeup. It's hard. It's really hard. I really think that Cassandra will guide me to looking my best. Now it's time to meet Sophia. I'm here at her ranch, and I'd love to sit down and see how I can help. Hi. Hello. Come on in. Thank you. Tell me a bit about your writing. Well, it started right around the time the acne started. I was 11. I have written about characters who face insecurities and how they overcome their insecurities. Do you feel like that's a journey that you've gone through? Absolutely, and I'm still going through. Were there other kids with acne that you went to school with, or were you the only one? Uh, nobody else had acne, <laughs> which was weird. Um, so it was kind of like, this is me, my own journey. No one else could really understand. So obviously you're very passionate about what you do. Do you think that would be different if you weren't wearing makeup? So if I weren't wearing makeup right now, yes. I would feel very uncomfortable. That's, that's the reality of it. It's the reality of how my mind works. What can we do today to try to help? Well, I do have one specific event coming up very, very soon. The first day of spring is Persian New Year, and this year my mom decided to host it here. I would love to be confident in the way I present myself. So what do you say we get started? Yes. We are going to have to take off our makeup. I know there's like, there's lights, there's cameras, there's people out there. I understand, but I will do it with you. Three, two, one. Feel liberated? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Now that we've got it all out there, we want something that's light and it's covering, like a natural, iconic Audrey Hepburn kind of look. I'm so ready. Let's get started. Start off with the primer. That is amazing. Concealer. Foundation. We're gonna go with the powder. A setting spray. It feels great. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Next we can move on to eye. We are going to be applying this white cream just all over to the lid. This is gonna give great contrast. Next, we're going to take a crease brush on just a really matte brown, open my eye, and just drag it all the way over. We're gonna line our lash line to make them look big and full, and we're gonna draw this out into kind of a wing. Next, we're going to fill in just by our tight line with a regular black liquid liner. I don't wanna poke my eye out. You know, just, there you go, yeah. The very last thing we're going to do is update this iconic eye shape with a nude spring lip. How do you feel? I feel beautiful. Awesome. I am in love with this look. Are you ready to get into hair and a cute outfit and take this look into the real world? I am ready. All right. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Are you ready to see your photo? I am ready. <laughs> Are you? Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Beautiful. I love this wow. look on you. I feel wonderful. Do you? I do. Thank you so much. This is just so such an amazing experience. I'm not afraid. I feel beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure to have worked with you. 
I really feel like this is such an amazing look for Sophia. She's stunning inside and out, and I understand the struggle, and I really hope that I was able to help her blossom a little bit today. Check out the full makeover on Allure's channel and subscribe for more Cassandra to the rescue. We'll see you next time.